Hello YouTubers, I just thought I'd do another little video of my latest build. This is build number 16 of these I've built now. Uh, it's a lot like build number 15, same colour. Pastel green with pastel green wheels, but this one has cream stripes on it. Uh, county style stripes, I suppose, and it's got the the Hue 166 number plate on. But apart from that, it's more or less an identical replica of the last one. I don't usually do two colours in a row, but somebody requested this colour. So I've done it, but the circumstances have changed and they don't they don't need it, but so it's gonna go on, on eBay to be sold. Oh, uh, it's turned out it's absolutely perfect. God, look at the, the mud coming off my lawn. It's done nothing but rain just lately in England. Uh, back to the little car, yeah, it's absolutely 100% immaculate. Like them all. Uh, it's a nice colour, this really popular colour. First Land Rover I think made was this colour and the last one made was this colour. Something that's a bit different I've done on this one, I've put on the Toylander badge rather than a miniature Land Rover badge, which is quite nice. But yeah, it's absolutely 100% immaculate like the rest of them. Uh, paintwork. I spray myself in two packs just like a car but what I do after that is I flat the paintwork down with 1200 wet and dry so there's absolutely no, so I can get really close, so there's absolutely no orange peel in it or any imperfections then what I do is I buff it, machine buff it back up to a gloss finish um, when you spray just naturally you get you get orange peel, if you look at your car you'll have slight orange peel in it but I, I'm not a fan of orange peel so I flat it out so it's absolutely 100% gone uh, obviously Ford and Vauxhall and stuff like that they, they can't they can't do that they don't have the time to do that so the orange peel is always there on, on production cars but on on show cars show paint finishes that's what they do it's a quite a time, time involved process really, it takes a lot of time to do it and you've got to be super careful as well, make sure there's enough paint on because if you buff through the paint then yeah, you're back to square one so it's not something for the faint hearted really but it, it does make a difference because obviously the smoother something gets the shinier it becomes seats are the same, and the colour sanded and buffed so it's just like a mirror really too good to sit on really, if I'm honest but it's the same sort of thing as the other one, you, you turn the key and you see the LED coming on, telling you that the battery's full horn headlights, that's your maximum speed controller so you can you can turn that down that limits the speed then to about 1-2 miles an hour all the way around it's about 6 miles an hour which is fast enough for one of these with children driving it that's your headlights button. So it's got headlights and side lights. And on the back, the tail lights. Indicators. Right. Yep, and left. The LED, the, uh, they don't have a flasher unit, the indicators are just the LED. They have the flashing units built in. Same again with the seat, I mean I don't want you to drive it, that would fold down like that. And 
adult's bottom would go, go about here. This is your little charging port, so charge it. Charger plugs in there. Um, then this is a pedal that makes it go. And you press that down to go forward, like that. Let's have a look. Forward, backwards, and make it go. Just turn it off. One screen again, folds down like the other one. So if you're driving on a hot day, you can uh, get some wind in your face, six mile an hour wind in your face, which is not a lot of wind when you're moving at six miles an hour. Uh, it's just a beautiful thing. Uh, I don't know if I can show you underneath. I've put it on, lock, on full lock. You can't really see in there. No, you can't really see, but it's got all a little tiny row of joint suspension, uh, steering, single swing arm suspension on the front. Yeah, they're just a lovely thing. I take pride in every every one of my builds. Make sure they're absolutely 100% perfect. Um, what's going on at eBay? This it will be the starting bid is 2,995. So we'll see how it gets. That's what they usually go for. I'm honest. Um, you can get cheaper so-called toylanders on eBay than that, but obviously they're not up to show standard like this. This is absolutely. 100% perfect. I don't know if you can see underneath, but on the underneath, what I do is I paint them all uh, with Schultz chassis black, so they're all waterproofed underneath. Not like you, you want to leave one of these outside in the rain, I don't think, anyway, but it's just handy to have it weather sealed. Okay. Well, like that. Screw it down. That side. Um, oh, it's starting to rain a little bit, I think, again. So nothing but rain just lately here. Let us know in the comments what you think, if you like it. Put them lights off. One thing that's a bit different on this one is on the other one, I usually put the dummy vents on, but on this one it's got, I don't know if you can see, it's got the dummy vents routed in. Thanks for watching, I better put it away before it starts getting a bit heavy on the rain. Let me know what you think on the comments, if you're interested in buying it, have a look on eBay, or leave me a message on here. Thanks for watching.